India's number one sporting events broadcaster, Star Sports, brings you an inspirational account of 10 extraordinarily talented kids whose knowledge of sports conquered the world and their indomitable zest to be the best. Let's witness as these young turks soar to the summit of sporting stratosphere with Wings of Glory. Like most about this Olympiad is it's something out of the box. It's not thoroughly on studies like physics, chemistry, biology. Like you have NSO, a National Science Olympiad. It's on science. You have Maths Olympiad. That's on maths. And then you have cyber. So everything is on what you study in the class. Nothing is what you do on the field. So this is related to the field. So I like this Olympiad a lot. The National Sports Knowledge Olympiad is really a very good platform in which students are able to compare it themselves with the, all the students around the world. It gives them a global opportunity to find themselves where they stand. Basically when we talk about sports, it's just not only playing sports but it's an all-round development. It makes them stand or find their position in the global scenario. This uh, Sports Knowledge Olympiad is definitely going to bring back the focus to other skills and other interests other than academics. So I think children will definitely benefit, schools are going to benefit hugely, society will benefit it at large. In fact, Star Sports coming up with Science Olympiad Foundation for this wonderful exam, it's a great initiative by them. Because up till now, students, non-playing sports uh, students or students who were not into any sports after this Olympiad have got so interested in it that they have started looking up the sports section and following the news channels very, very uh, closely. It also uh, gave importance to sports uh, and it also, you know, created a platform for students to show that uh, they also excel in sports and they know about sports uh, and which is going away from the mainstream studies of uh, math, science, computers, etc. I think it's an excellent initiative since uh, sports are gaining such an impetus in our country now and we can catch the children very young. So this is an excellent idea to start it and bring more sports orientation into the schools. Uh, Olympiad is going beyond just the subjects and taking it forward to sports knowledge as well and gives the learners an impetus to learn further. It's a beautiful concept. Sports culture is very, very important in today's time because today's parent not only believes only in academics, they are looking at well-rounded personalities of their children. a very nice venture that they have taken up this year which has given a new opening to the students a new thinking and a new perception about sports to the students as well as the parents this is the best thing that could happen to these olympiads i believe that all other you know academic olympiads were happening this far and sports were neglected as we as parents also understand sometimes we give it the second chance for the child we want him to be academically number one here and there uh, sports would be the first casualty when it comes to the child development 
हर एक बच्चा जो स्पोर्ट्स मैन है जो नहीं भी है उसको भी इसका बहुत बड़ा बेनिफिट पहुंचेगा This is something very excellent that has started up. They can be exposed to the knowledge about different sports personalities, be it national or international. Students are getting involved in sports. They are eager to know the history of the sport persons. It motivates a lot. I think it helps in updating the children's knowledge about sports especially. It is not a one day preparation you have it is a gradual process. You have to keep on doing it every day. You cannot learn it in a day and give an exam. He wakes up at around 5:30 in the morning, and then one hour he studies, and then 6:30 leaves for school. Then from uh, two o'clock he's back from school. I was preparing uh, every day for all these general knowledge quizzes because I used to go for these quizzes every day before sleep I used to brush up my knowledge about the daily happenings and all that but I didn't used to emphasize on sports but since I heard this I thought that this is my thing so I should try this to win the contest every night uh, before sleep I used to open the internet uh, open the current affairs and the sports section and i used to read olympics and all those uh, other sports also like winter olympics i never known of them but uh, now i get to know that there are other sports too who are the winners of from india and all that so since I, this competition have been announced i have got a lot more information about the olympics and the other national games taking place In our curriculum, we have incorporated a lot of uh, learning. Every class begins with special instructions from the PE teachers, and we have a planned vertical curriculum for this. Right from class nursery prep to 12, we have a planned curriculum even for PE. So it's not as if in the PE period the children just walk out into the field and just play what they wish to. So they have a curriculum; they follow that. and there is a healthy mix of theory as well as practical classes at the beginning of the session we prep the children about the various exams that are there we provide them links sites online information assignments also plus there are books provided by mtg which also caters to the needs and the previous years winners we prepare a pool of them and hand holding mentoring to the top children that are there that is also being done in the school there is nothing really you can mug up in a day you have to gradually build up your knowledge by reading uh, newspapers and magazines and articles um, and i prepared by that only ever since i have started reading newspapers which was about 4 or 5 years ago i always look forward to reading the sports section of the newspaper and then gradually my interest developed and i started reading magazines and online articles which uh, strengthened my sports knowledge we made sure that uh, we uh, made available a lot of books in Dhruv's reach. He used to study encyclopedias, sports specific books and specially autobiographies of uh, famous players and legendary players. Mera We try and motivate our students to participate in these kind of olympiads and we also provide different worksheets or whatever extra knowledge we can supply them well through internet 
or whatever way we can. Kuhu is an avid reader, though she is shy by nature and reticent also at the same time, but in a leisure time she would like to play games. She has that keen interest for games though, but her more inclination is towards her studies. If whenever she is free, she enjoys playing. जब इंटरनेशनल स्पोर्ट्स नॉलेज ओलंपियाड इंट्रोड्यूस हुआ आई थिंक इट्स वे बैक इन लास्ट फेब वी गॉट टू नो अबाउट दिस ओलंपियाड तो हमने फ्रॉम द वेरी बिगनिंग भी हमने इसके लिए प्रिपेयर करना शुरू किया मुझे लग रहा था कि कुहू क्योंकि काफी पढ़ती है तो इसमें भी अच्छा करेगी इंटरनेट से भी प्रिपेयर कराया इसको काफी एंड डिफरेंट बुक्स आई ऑल्सो परचेज फॉर हर और कुछ भी इवेंट जो होती थी लाइक like करंट जो भी इवेंट है चल रहा है कोई भी गेम्स है या स्पोर्ट्स इवेंट हो रही है तो उसके बारे में हम डिटेल में पढ़ते थे और दोनों डिस्कस करते थे आई यूज टू रीड ओलम्पियाड बुक एंड आई डिड ऑल द वर्क बुक्स फ्रॉम फर्स्ट टू सेवेंथ ऑल द जी के वर्क बुक्स एंड आई एस के एंड आई ऑल्सो गॉट मैनी जी के बुक्स in the prizes i got before them this isk one and that's how i prepared for the uh, isk olympiad basically open to everyone and uh, anybody who wants to participate they can participate and the ones who choose to participate they get books to prepare from they prepare at home and we also prepare them in the school the sports teacher the entire departments are working with the children to help them accentuate their knowledge we started searching for the resources available both on the internet and uh, in print so that we can help him prepare for the olympiad so we kept him extremely disciplined and focused uh, around these tests so that uh, he can keep focusing on learning new things about sports we helped him uh, watch olympics because olympics was happening at that time so he started taking a lot of interest in uh, olympics various sports that were being played in olympics and also he is somebody who loves uh, watching cricket and he also is a good skater so it helped him in uh, improving his knowledge towards uh, sports in general uh, uh, and and excel in even the theoretical part of sports knowledge my mother made me practice and i got a little scolding at first but then Right. See, besides our day-to-day -day whatever studies we take, uh, we surely take up extra classes for these, so that uh, the students who are participating. get extra coaching for all these kind of olympiads and uh, when we came to know about the sports olympiad being started uh, the rules and everything was told to the students about various games by the sports teachers as well as about the different sports personalities so that uh, students could prepare for this olympiad for isko specially the students are trained through special classes which are conducted otherwise on regular basis students have their sports classes where the coaches tell them about the rules of the sports the various achievements in different fields they have their general knowledge classes the gk classes conducted on weekly basis they also get to read about sports magazines available in our uh, library in our resource rooms these are the various facilities given to the children for preparation my mother bought study material and my school teacher conducted extra classes of isko for the preparation for particular sports olympiad i searched net online questions and sample papers from different different organizations mtg books and 
I framed some questions myself. This way, I prepared my son. A word that fits this description would be determination as it means that you should never give up and you should always keep working harder and harder to attain your goal and that inspires me to work hard. Discipline in sports and studies, both of them require discipline, yes. But what I have seen, whenever there is a PE period or a training session, if I ask the child to be there at 7 o'clock, he will be there by 6.50. And I have seen uh, die-hard uh, training uh, like footballers who are there early morning, staying back after school and if they can bring the same to their study routine as well, that will be great for us. Sports plays a very important part in a student's life. Because the first thing that is required in sports is focus, discipline. When it comes to the academic of students, again it requires a focus and sports helps a great deal in helping a student maintain that discipline, maintain that focus towards his goal. So sports does help in the all-round development of a student's life. Study hard, play harder. Motto of Star Sports is belief, so uh, I believe that I could do well in this exam. Hard work, naturally, dono mein hard work chahi. Sports ho ya uh, studies ho. Through sports, one can have a disciplined life because it gives a good quality of time management and it also instills a killer spirit. Well, discipline has to come automatically and when it comes to activities such as sports or performing arts, theatre, I think at the end of it, these are the kind of activities that bring in the most discipline rather than just a classroom exercise. Even today, if I am given an exposure to find my wings out on the field, I will be a happier child. Discipline in any field of life is very important. It's important for a child to be disciplined in studies on a regular basis. Similarly, in sports also, discipline plays a very important role. Nobody can progress without a proper disciplined routine which has to be maintained on a daily basis. It was very lively. These are very small children and they are not very really abreast or uh, aware of the term examination. All they know is that they are going to do something and it's conducted in a very fun manner. When the exam was happening, I thought my mother made me a practice lot so I will be confused. I was not very nervous because I had many Olympiads before but uh, since it was a new, yes a little bit I was nervous. The exam was uh, not very tough although some questions I made while to us and uh, also some of the questions, 28 questions almost were from the workbook. Uh, the day before examination and on the examination, a bit of nervousness was there. But when I've done the exam, I was confident that I had done well. My strategy was to work hard and give your level best because that's the only way you can uh, gain any success in life. I was very confident while going into the exam and I felt like I could do it. Bit nervous, not very nervous to say because all my friends were giving and I looked at the questions and then I felt a little excited because the questions I thought were quite easy because I had studied and I, I was just reading them and yeah, pick this one and yeah, like this, tick one. And this is the right answer. I was very much elated. It was a moment of, I mean, cracking an exam and that too at the international level is something which is a great achievement. And I was very excited and happy. We were elated, we immediately wanted uh, it covered, so we got, uh, uh, we sent it out to the media also. Well, it was marvellous. We were all very happy and the student was congratulated, the parents were called. It was a happy feeling for all of us. It was a great surprise for me. I love dancing, so it was like 
I would be seen on a television only for dancing. But it was it was a great surprise that I have come for an Olympiad. Thank you, man, for all of your class has scored international rank one in. In ISKO, International Sports and Knowledge Olympia, please give a big hand. Thank you. I was very happy, and it was a proud moment for me because he has done uh, very well. That came as a surprise to us. And I was like, oh my God, my little boy has done wonders. Priyanj is a rock star. Priyanj is the best of all. I felt awesome. I absolutely felt great, and it was an honor. It was a very, very happy feeling to know that a child from my class has achieved such an accolade. And I felt proud for the school, and I felt proud for the parents who have really put in a lot of effort. We have organized an ISKO Sports Knowledge Olympiad, which is sponsored by Star Sports, and she got first international rank in that Olympiad, and she got fifty thousand cash prize. Please give a big round of applause to her. So, I didn't believe that Kuhu got the first international rank, and I have checked two or three times that she got the first rank. कुहू को जो मैंने बताया शी वाज इन द इन हर रूम तो कह रही मम्मा सच बोल रहे हैं आप सच बोल रहे हैं मैंने कहा आई वाज सो मच इरिटेटेड मैंने कहा गो एंड चेक योर सन इट्स रियली अ ड्रीम कम ट्रू इट्स क्वाइट अनएक्सपेक्टेड आई आई कुड नॉट बिलीव इट आई कुड नॉट बिलीव माय इयर्स एंड आई जस्ट कंफर्म इज इट ट्रू व्हाट यू आर सेइंग ही सेड नो इट इज ट्रू आई गॉट अ कंफर्मेशन फ्रॉम द टीचर This is a great day for us, for the country, but as well as this is indeed an occasion to celebrate for the school as well. Harsit Panjwani of our school getting first international rank in Sports Olympiad. With this, we come to the end of the first episode of Wings of Glory. Wait until next time as we bring you the success stories of five more young geniuses whose sporting knowledge made the world bow down to them.